in a magical Caribbean wonderland named Necker Island, people from all over the world come to pitch their ideas to Virgin Atlantic business mogul Richard Branson. One night on the island can cost almost $100,000. But people keep coming because Branson has the capital to fund their startups. And if you have the cash, and if you're lucky enough to bump into Mr. Branson while you're on Necker Island, chances are that you'll have less than a minute to sell him your idea. Selling that idea in less than a minute is possible. And the secret is the elevator pitch. An elevator pitch is a short speech where you share your ideas and the amount of time it would take to ride between floors in the elevator. Imagine you bump into the most important person in your field in the elevator. You have them all to yourself and they can't escape. Woo! Now's your big chance to share your idea. In fact, Forbes magazine says that the perfect elevator speech should be about 30 seconds. Looking for more than 30 seconds? One guest on Necker Island offered to install an elevator for free just for the opportunity to ride it with Sir Richard Branson and give their elevators a pitch. The good news is that you don't need to be in elevator sales to craft an effective elevator pitch. The first step in the elevator pitch is coming up with your talking points. What are the three most important things that you want the person to take away from your pitch? Remember, they can always ask questions and you can always elaborate and you can always give them more information. But like a speech introduction, what you say first will decide if the audience wants to keep listening, or in this case, whether your VIP will keep talking to you. I like to use the problem solution model of persuasive speaking even with informative speech elevator pitches. For example, if you take my topic on backyard chickens from the talking points video, my purpose is to teach you how you can keep healthy backyard chickens safely and legally in the city of Gainesville. My speech is the solution. So what's the problem? Most people would love to have free fresh eggs from chickens they keep in their backyard, but they don't know how to begin. Maybe they don't know the rules. Maybe they don't know how to take care of chickens or maybe they're afraid that their dogs or cats will terrorize the chickens. Those are the problems. Problems that the audience can identify with and problems that I can solve with my idea and my speech. Framing this problem is key. Most people would love to have free fresh eggs, but they don't know how to get started raising urban chickens. That's it. That's the problem. Now what's the solution? That's what's found in my speech. Let's try it out. I want to share the best techniques for city dwellers in Gainesville who want to raise chickens for fresh eggs. Why is that important? Because fresh eggs are more nutritious. Because chickens can provide valuable soil enhancements. Because chickens can help eliminate bugs in the backyard garden, reducing the need for pesticides. Now I'm starting to develop a problem and solution that appeals to the audience. I want chickens, but I don't know where to start. My solution, which I found in the speech that I preview and tease in the elevator pitch, and I'll share why it's important. Let's put it all together. Ready? What color was the egg yolk in the last egg that you cracked open? Pale yellow? What if I told you that eggs with the highest nutritional value had bright orange yolks? If you've never had an egg with an orange yolk, you're missing out. And you probably don't have backyard chickens. I know what you're thinking. Me? Chickens? <laughs> I live in the city. What if I told you that you could raise healthy hens safely and legally within the Gainesville city limits? Notice how in doing that, I leave an opportunity at the end for my audience or my VIP to ask more, leading to a conversation with opportunities for me to share more about what I know. And how will you know those things? Well, in public speaking class, you'll know from preparation and practice your research. Seeing speeches is not just a class assignment, but an opportunity to learn more in your field of expertise is an important tip for tricking your brain in public speaking. Give speeches on topics you care about. Speak with expertise. Show us your passion. Learn to boil down your ideas. That way you have clear ideas for your speeches, for your class discussions, for business meetings. Or 
for that off chance you make it to Neckard Island and you get to pitch Richard Branson.